Pickle, let's go to the hotline. And let's bring in the head coach of the 2-0 and o Kingwood Mustangs down there in Harris County. We're joined by Coach Kale Melton. Coach, how are you? Doing good. How, how are y'all doing? Excellent. How are things in beautiful Kingwood, Texas? Oh, it's a, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> I'll, yeah, most certainly. And I imagine it's it's even more beautiful with you guys sitting at 2-0 and o for the first time since 2013. You know, I'm interested uh, specifically in the way that your defense has played so far this season. I mean, you guys were, were really dominant in your win over Clear Creek in the opener. And then last week, your defense really held the line against a, a game Katie Jordan squad uh, before you guys were able to score late and win. My, I guess my question is, was this the type of defense you expected to see from, from your Mustangs uh, to start off the season? Well, I, we did. I mean, we, were, we came into... Uh, you know, there's some questions, especially on the defensive line. Uh, we, we lost a lot of, uh, of players last year up front. Um, and so we, we, we knew we'd be young. Um, but uh, in, during the spring and, and, and as we went through fall camp, we started seeing these guys kind of grow up a little bit. They got in the weight room this summer um, and, and then really worked hard. But all around, um, uh, defensively, you know, we thought we could be pretty good this year. And, uh, and so far, we, we've shown that. Um, you know, and and but this is this is the first two and O start for for Kingwood since 2013. Um, this has been you know last year at at at, at one and nine and, and and you know two wins the year before. This is a, a program that has kind of been been kind of stuck in the uh, mud a little bit. My question for you is, what has been the biggest difference you think in this year's team versus what versus the last couple of years where it's been more of a struggle? Well, I think it took a couple of years. Uh, you know. Um, it had been a, you know, we'd had to kind of change a little bit of things, some culture uh, mm-hmm. things, and, and had kids buy in. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, we got here in the COVID year, um, and so we didn't get to kind of know the kids. Uh, it took us a little bit of time uh, and, and kind of bring in our system and, and, and what we wanted to do as, as a coaching staff. And so uh, I think what's kind of helped turn this around is the fact that, like, uh, these kids have bought in. Uh, this group of young men, this senior class, we're, we're senior laden. I think we've got 45 seniors. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, they've just bought into everything that we did from, uh, you know, uh, what we do, what we call boot camp to, to the, um, off season workouts to, uh, you know, spring football, the, the summer workouts, they just, they just been all in. And so, um, when you do that and you get kids that want to be here and they want to have fun and, and, and they, they want to, and they buy into, you know, to the, the culture that you're selling into your core values. Um, it, it starts to show. Um, and so we, we, we wanted to, them to start believing in themselves and believing in what we were doing, and this group has really, really bought into that. Talking with Kale Melton, head coach of the Kingwood Mustangs here on Texas Football Today. We can follow the conversation the hashtag TF Today. Uh, you know, Coach, we hear all the time that, that, that winning is contagious and the winning kind of breeds more winning. Are you, can you sense a different kind of sense of excitement, a different kind of uh, buzz around the program right now after this hot start? Oh, definitely. Uh, you can fill it in throughout the hallways and through the school um, and even through the community. Um, people are just talking about it and talking about things. But, you know, we, we want to focus on it. And, and we talk about it all the time, being each day in practice, being one percent better, but being one to know every day um, and then every week. And so uh, but that's also starting to spread throughout this community, through through our players, all the way through the, you know, to the lower levels, even through the middle schools. Um, there's a there's a buzz going on. And so. Um, it does get the kids excited um, and 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 that also helps them to play harder and, uh, you know, and, and want that opportunity to go out each week and, and be one and oh. One guy I want to ask you about is uh, is your, your star receiver, uh, Tyler Harrington. The, the junior yeah. had an incredible, you know, what ended up being the game-winning <coughs> touchdown catch last week uh, against Jordan. Um, he's your leading receiver. Uh, certainly looks the part. I've seen the film. Looks like he's pretty pretty darn good player. But but as the guy who sees him in practice and in the locker room and things like that, what is it about Tyler Harrington that, that sets him apart that makes him special? Well, Tyler works so hard. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, we didn't know uh, it, what, whether he was going to play, whether it be a tight end or a receiver. And, and he got in the weight room. And, uh, you know, people, what people don't know is he had surgery actually this spring um, and came back even stronger. Um, uh, you know, he's a 315, 320 venture. Um, uh, he, he started doing a lot of speed workouts, getting himself faster. Um, uh, but mentally, uh, you know, he, he is, he's been, uh, you know, he watches film, he studies, uh, each week, uh, what, the, what the defenses are going to do to him. And, um, and, you know, people don't realize how big he is. 
Um, you know, and so he goes up and he makes catches and, uh, and, and they don't realize how fast he is either, but he is a, he's a hard worker. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, he's a student of the game. Uh, but prior to your arrival there at Kingwood, you were the defensive coordinator there at Highland Park for a few years. And, and we hear all the time from uh, from coaches that, that you know, you are, you're you really a product of, of the coaches that you learned under and stuff like that. You obviously uh, got to uh, got to coach with, uh, you know, one of the winningest coaches in Texas high school football history and Randy Allen there at Highland Park. I'm interested what you took from from watching him and from, from learning under him that you have kind of applied to the Kingwood program. Well, there's a lot of things. I, you know, you could say a lot of things about Coach Allen. Um, I love Coach Allen. Coach Allen has been a mentor to me. Um, I still talk to him. Uh, you know, I try to talk to him every couple of weeks um, and, and, and pick his brain and, and ask him about things. And uh, he has a good way of, you know, uh, especially over the last two years, you know, with the struggles that we've had, just, you know, asking about, you know, how, how to handle things and, uh, you know, to do all that. But we also, you know, brought in the core values. Uh, that he taught us and, and, you know, how to, how to work with kids. And, and, you know, he, he's such a, just a, just a great man and a great coach. Um, you know, we just, every, everything that we do to the way that we practice um, to, like I said, to our core values, to the way that we interact with kids. Um, it, it, it all goes back to our, my mentorship, uh, you know, being under him. Um, and so, you know, not only him, but Coach Don Woods, who's also D.C. at Jesuit, I was under him. And so I learned a lot from him defensively. And, I, and there's a lot of guys that I could come out and say, you know, hey, um, you know, I, I learned a lot from. But being just being under uh, Coach Allen and the Holland Park program and just the way that they do things was it was unbelievable. And it, and it helped bring down you know, bring it down here to, to, to Kingwood High School. Well, and, and there's another guy that I I have to imagine you learned something about coaching from, and that would be one of your assistant coaches. <laughs> um, because for those who don't know, one of your assistant coaches is a gentleman by the name of Ronnie Melton. Uh, Ronnie Melton is your dad. Ronnie Melton himself was a, a pretty accomplished uh, high school football coach himself. He was on the staff at Atlanta for forever. It seemed like he, he won a district championship at Hawkins back in 1979. I have so many questions, but one of them is, what's it like to be your dad's boss? <laughs> oh, it, it's different. But the good <laughs> thing about it is he's, he, he kind of keeps me grounded. That's what's pretty awesome about him. I mean, he's been coaching for 47 years. Um, I, I just the, – the awesome thing is to sit into the coach's office with him and listen to him. Uh, he's, he's uh, you know, he's forgotten more football than I know. Um, and so – just having him on this staff has been unbelievable. Like you said, he was been in Atlanta for uh, over 21 years. Um, he coached at North Shore down here in Houston. Um, you know, he's been the defense coordinator in a lot of places. So just to have, you know, him here, um, it's been awesome. But also just to, you know, just be able to pick his brain every single day um, and ask him about different things defensively um, is, is, is pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome experience. Uh, of course, it's on to the next one, Coach, and the next one comes Saturday at uh, Turner Stadium where you welcome in a fellow unbeaten in, in, in Houston Heights. Um, and I'm certainly not going to ask you to give away your game plan here on the air, but uh, when you take a look at what you're going to be up against uh, with the with the Bulldogs on Saturday, uh, what do you see? Well, Coach Dix is a great coach, and they do a great job uh, over at Heights. And, uh, you know, I, I see a lot of speed. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a big old offensive line. Um, they've got some receivers that can go. Um, so, you know, we know uh, we know what we got to do, and uh, and uh, and so um, defensively they fly to the football. Um, and like I said, they're two and zero. So our our job is to go out and play hard on Saturday uh, to give ourselves a chance to be one and zero again. Uh, we we try not to worry about anything uh, too far ahead. We just want to we just want to focus on on the next game. And so, like I said, Heights is a is a is a good program. And Coach Dixon's doing a great job. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna we're hopefully gonna go out there and get after it. He's Kale Melton. He's the head coach of the 2-0 Kingwood Mustangs. Coach, really appreciate your time. Congratulations again on the fantastic start, and uh, go get him on Saturday. I appreciate it. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day. There he goes. Kale Melton, head coach. Kingwood Mustangs joining us here at Texas Football Today. Good dude. Um, and exciting. Exciting times, Kingwood. I, I don't know if I want to reveal I lived in Kingwood for a spell. Did you really? Mm -hmm. When we lived in Houston, we lived in Kingwood um, when I was from ages 5 to 7. A lot of our Texan Live guys are from that area. I went to... Uh, Hidden Hollow Elementary School. I was a roadrunner. Hidden Hollow Roadrunners. That's a, there's a lot happening there. Um, but it's exciting down there in Kingwood. You know, they, uh, Coach Barry Campbell was there for so long uh, there at Kingwood that, you know, he was, he was such, such an institution there. Um, 
And so, you know, he was he was there for I want to say like ten years, close there. And and they had some pretty decent success, kind of six five, six six, a lot a lot of those. Mm-hmm. And and I know that when Coach Melton, you know, moved from the Highland Park down to uh, Kingwood, you know, the, his you know as a coach's kid, he had bounced around a little bit and stuff like that. But I, that's a that's a, a program that that is in a very tough district. They're in the North Shore Tascosa district mm-hmm. and stuff. But um, you know, off to a two and zero start, and and that's nothing to turn your nose up. No, I mean, go solidify your third place and, spot and, and go. And the other thing is, here's the other thing about it is that is that to me, it's about like the fact that they're doing it the way they're doing it with defense. Mm-hmm. That like, if you're going out there in your first couple of weeks, you're winning games seventy to to thirty eight and stuff right. like that. It's like that's great, but what if the offense doesn't show up one week? Right. Like your defense is going to show up each week, well, and so. And when you look at who's in their district, you you have to have a defense to have a chance against mm-hmm. either of those two teams. So mm-hmm. it's like, hey, if you can ride that train, then wilder things have happened. Absolutely, and and look, you, or at least you can go out there and be competitive. And look, you look at the district, right? No, I'm, I don't think I'm going on a limb here when I say that North Shore and and Tuskegee are going to make the uh, playoffs. Are you, are you willing to? I'd, jump out there with you me. No, it's a, it's tough, but I think I can. Okay, I thank think you. I can go with North Shore you. and a task to get in the playoffs. The next team there probably, it, basically to me, it's it's in C. King, Summer Creek. If you want to lump, um, you know, Kingwood in there, maybe they can't. Maybe Umble. Umble had a great week one win. Mm-hmm. Fa- uh, fell short last week uh, against I want to say Klein Forest, but. To me, you know, Westbrook's off to a slow start. The Beaumont schools are off to a slow start. Mm-hmm. We have no idea it is what not, C.E. King actually is. It is you know? not outside the realm of possibility for Kingwood to crash that, that playoff party. Mm-hmm. And Kellen Melton's got them trending in the right direction. We appreciate his time. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.